As I tried to say in my presentation, I don't think there is one nexus. I think there are multiple socially constructed and politically consequential nexuses. That is to say that different political systems, different economic systems, will create their own set of linkages between water, food, energy, and the climate. And as I tried to argue, um, those definitions are often not based on environmental trends or economic necessity, but on political objectives. And so rather than uh, us getting all worked up about many of the inefficiencies and saying there is waste and it is not as perfect as it is, we should ask ourselves the questions whose interests certain definitions of the nexus are serving. Because even though we are coming up now with this term nexus, the idea of thinking about the interrelations is not new. Uh, many states, particularly in, in Africa, uh, were built under imperialism and colonialism with very specific ideas of what those connections may be. And so if we are, if the objective of a conference like this or research programs is to actually help people who are currently not living very, very good lives in most of the dry lands, we should ask very political questions about how power is exercised and who is excluded from power. The reason why it is difficult is because it is not in the interest of many of them. The problem is not that policymakers don't understand it. Many of them understand it much better than you and I ever will. It is because they understand it that there is no integration. Um, and so as I said, rather than assuming that we should just do more talking, uh, in some cases we will need some degree of struggle or some degree of resistance in order to force the hand of certain people and to move away uh, from systems that are very unfair, particularly on poor people, uh, on, particularly on minorities, and that are genuinely inclusive of their demands, of their choices of how they want to live their lives. So that's why I said that in my talk that it is not about governance. Governance is a very neutral, kind term. It's about politics. And politics means about power and who gets it and who doesn't. Well, there are many challenges that they, that they face. Um, there's an entire library is written on the difficulties that they face. But I think that one of the, one of the, there are two specific questions that I think are worth highlighting in the context of the environment. Uh, the first is that historically, uh, many African countries and many dryland countries, despite their difficult geographies, have been forced to, or have, uh, their leaders have chosen to produce for global markets at terms that are extremely unequal. And that essentially mean that poverty is carried over from one generation to another. It is very, very important to try to reverse that. And for that, there's a whole, kinds of a whole range of, of strategies that need to be adopted. But fundamentally, it's important that these countries put themselves first, rather than thinking that integration into the global economy, into world markets, is automatically going to lead to progress. The second element is to understand that many of the elites, many of the people running these countries, um, are fundamentally complicit in this. They are not innocent victims. They are people who have been using international resources and international discourse, including around the nexus, for their own benefits. In other words, it is to, be, to confront uh, those people and to, as I said, expose the way in which poverty and exclusion and environmental damage is carried over from one generation to the next. That is what's going to make a real difference for ordinary Africans. Uh, not uh, just uh, more theorizing and, and, and endless uh, talking. Uh, because I think, as I said, that we've long understood what some of the problems are. The question is doing something about them uh, rather than continuing uh, to talk about them.